A Cave Spring High School teen scored the opportunity of his lifetime, combining two things that he loves the most, hockey and his Chilean heritage. 10 News anchor Jaffney Gray shares his journey of being the only junior dog from Virginia this year to represent Chile in the Deep Blue Ridge. It's just like a way to get away from everything. It's just you, the ice, your friends, and you can just put your head down and play as hard as you want. And it's a lot of fun. For the past 11 years, 16-year-old Tomas Midkiff has had that fun playing for the Valley Youth Hockey Association. He's a Roanoke U16 AA junior dog. I think the biggest hill was uh, when we jumped from no checking where you can't hit to where you can hit. It was pretty scary. You have to eventually get over it. And now that once you do, you can play really well. We'll get to how well Tomas can play in a second. Yeah. Oh. oh! Because playing that well was the result of skating not so well as a toddler. When I turned three, and they took me skating, and I hated it. Like, I never wanted to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> we blame the skates, though. It was clearly the skates. Not sharp enough or something. But, um, yeah, he was, he was not a big fan of it at first. For Tomas's dad, Adam Midkiff. Hockey has made the rounds in his life, playing street hockey when he was younger and then playing in the men's league when he got to Roanoke. Over time, that passion rubbed off on Tomas, who was already falling in love with the Washington Capitals. That's my favorite team. Um, I just kind of started to love more players, and I want to play for the Capitals one day. So Eventually, Tomas went from watching to playing on his own. Once, um, once it got to the point where he could just torch me going up and down the ice, it's, it's time to hang up the skates. I remember having a lot of fun with my friends, building friendships, kids I still play with today. Hard work, determination, and even a bone contusion created this beast on the ice that you see here. A skill set that put Tomas on the map, not only here in the States, but overseas in a country he's very familiar with. Chile. Because his mother was born and raised in Chile before moving to the States at age 18, Tomas has been visiting the country since he was a boy. After the two learned of an opportunity to try out for the U16 Chile team. It was just kind of like a joke, like nothing serious at first. Little did he know his highlight reel gave him the shot to represent Chile in Florida during the 2023 Latam Hockey Cup. Yeah, I was, I was, I was pretty happy. <laughs> How is your mom feeling about that? Oh, uh, she, she was really excited. She was she was dancing around the house. But um, there was a kid, kids from Canada, kids a kid from Sweden, and then we have the kids from Chile, of course. So I mean, we all clicked really fast, and the team was looking amazing. Tomasas's team played against several countries, beating team after team, but they ultimately lost to Argentina in the finals. Always want to go for gold. A little competitive, but um, I mean, it's still there's still. That's a story I can tell for the rest of my life. He walked away with the silver medal, but the experience. Breathtaking. Like uh, that first game, I was trying to keep my cool. I was trying to like pass out. It was, it was insane. It's representing my family, the country. I, I love that place. And I think I just made my, my family proud. He hopes this once in a lifetime shot he plans to have again would push others in their passions. Just believe in yourself. I mean, you can always do it. For the Deep Blue Ridge, I'm Japhne Gray, 10 News, working for you.